وسع ربي كل شيء علما أفلا تتذكرون الحمد لله رب العالمين له الحمد الحسن والثناء الجميل وأشهد أن لا إله إلا الله وحده لا شريك له يقول الحق وهو يهدي السبيل وأشهد أن محمدا عبده ورسوله صلى الله عليه وعلى آله وأصحابه والتابعين لهم بإحسان إلى يوم الدين أما بعد إن شاء الله تعالى I'm now going to speak about times which when it comes to uh, students of knowledge times which they waste and they take these times very lightly but it spends but it takes a lot of their time and they spend so much time uh, in it and that is a ziyarat the first one is when it comes to visiting people a lot of students of knowledge who are seeking knowledge they eat extreme exaggeration or extreme negligence gathering meeting with people they love um, and uh, socializing this is something that is become very common among students of knowledge yani atalib ilm will for example be studying uh, uh, in another country abroad and he would come from that university and he would come and visit people for example in the uk and he spends his whole summer holiday or he spends the bulk of his summer holiday or even his winter holiday or whatever holidays he gets the bulk of it he spends socializing with people going out eating and uh, socializing with them um, and that to be honest is wasting time not only yours but also wasting other people who are looking at knowledge as a very important thing who admire knowledge who want to learn who are with you because they love seeking knowledge and you for you it's a holiday because you're going to go and seek knowledge uh, in, in in the next few months after your summer holidays is over you're going to go back and seek knowledge again but these people use time you're wasting they only had this summer holiday to seek knowledge if they were going to seek knowledge because once they uh, their summer holiday is over they go back to a school or university or college so not only have you wasted their time, but you also wasted your time. Because even for you in the summer holiday, you should have revised what you studied that entire year in your university or what you studied with the ulama and the mashayikh. So that when your next year starts, inshallah ta'ala, you're prepared and you're ready. Because knowledge is connected. وَلِذَلِكَ there's a kalamun qayyim, a very beautiful speech from none other than the great Imam Ibn al-Qayyim rahimahullah. When it comes to brothers gathering and socializing, he mentions this in his Kitab al Fawaid. He says, Al Ijtima'u bil Ikhwani Qisman. He says, One brother's socializing is two types. The, the first one is, Ijtima'un ala mu'anasati at taba wa shu'ulul waqti. There are people who socialize, they love to be in gatherings. Why do they like to do that? Is because it's mu'anasat al taba. You, you enjoy the presence of this person. وَشُغُلِ الْوَقْتِ And you want to you want to waste time with them. Ibn al-Qayyim said, he said, فَهَذَا مَضَرَّةُ أَرْجَحُ مِنْ مَنْفَعَتِهِ This person, when you're with them, he gives, them, he gives you that, that, that happiness, that joy and all of that. The harm that comes from that is more than the benefit that you attain from it. وَأَقَلُّ مَا فِيهِ أَنْ يُفْسِدَ الْقَلْبِ And the bare minimum in harm for that is that it harms your heart. That's the bare minimum. The second one is, الوقت, and also it wastes your time, he says, Ibn al Qayyim. The second one is, على على the second type of gatherings, or second type of socializing, is that you guys gather together على أسباب النجات, for successful things. والتواصي بالحق والصبر, to advise one another good and patience. He said, فهذا أعظم الغنيمة وأنفعها. He said, this one, of course, without a doubt, has it's the greatest form of uh, benefits. And it's a ghanima, it's, it's a booty for you to get. But even that one, which you guys are meeting, for what? At tawasi bil haq, was sabr, to advise one another good, to advise each other patience. At ta'awun ala asbab najat. Even that one, he says, walakin, fihi thalathu afatin. But this one, even this one, there's three harms in it. Even that one, there's three harms in it. Which is what? The student of knowledge, when he meets the other student of knowledge, he's gonna Each one will adorn himself for the other one. He will wear certain clothes. 
He will make himself speak in a certain way. He will, he will make himself look good. And he beautify his words and etc. Al-kalamu wal khultatu akhtaru min al-haja. And because you think you're, good, you're calling this person to good and you're benefiting this person in terms of their akhirah and they're doing the same for you, you guys start talking more than what you need. So, al-kalamu wal khultatu akhtaru min al-haja. The third one is, أَن يَصِيرَ ذَلِكَ شَهْوَةً وَعَادَةً يَنْقَطِعُ بِهَا عَنِ الْمَقْصُودِ It becomes a norm, it's the third harm. It, now this becomes a norm. You say to the person, brother, let's meet up tomorrow again, let's do it again. And it becomes something you keep doing, and you keep doing, and you keep doing, when the, the aim and the objective is now gone now. So brothers, I really want you to understand, يَا طُلَّابَ الْعِلْمِ The students of knowledge, اتَّقُوا الله Fear Allah ta'ala regarding the people. And all oh, you students of knowledge who are studying uh, and seeking knowledge, your time, your time, give it importance. When it comes to seeking knowledge, avoid socializing too much. This, that is, is the, that ijtima' is either one of those two brothers and sisters. It is either ijtima'un ala mu'anasati tab'i wa shughli waqt that, the, the answer to that is فَهَذَا مَضَرَّتُ أَرْجَحُ مِنْ مَنْفَعَتِي That one there's more harm in it than benefits وَأَقَلُّ مَا فِي أَنْ يُفْسِدَ الْقَلْبَ وَيُضَيِّعَ الْوَقْتَ It will destroy your heart and it waste your time. The second one he says is what? الْإِجْتِمَاعُ بِهِمْ عَلَى التَّعَاوْنِ عَلَى الْأَسْبَابِ النَّجَاتِ وَالتَّوَاصِي بِالْحَقِّ وَالصَّبْرِ فَهَذَا أَعْظَمُ الْغَنِيمَةِ and you guys are working towards success and prosperity for this dunya and the hereafter. You guys are talking about at tawasi bil haqq, you're talking about the truth and khair and akhirah. Was sabr, you're talking about patience and good things. فَهَذَا أَعْظَمُ الْغَنِيمَةِ وَأَنْفَعِهَا No doubt there's a lot of benefit in that one. But even that one has some harm in it. The first harm he mentions is تَزَيُّنُ بَعْضِهِمْ لِبَعْضٍ Each brother starts to adorn himself for the other brother. He's starts to speak a certain way, his voice, his vocabulary, the way he carries himself, he changes that. الكلام والخلطة أكثر من الحاجة You start mixing with each other more than the need. And last but not least, أن يصير ذلك شهوة وعادة ينقطع بها عن المقصود It becomes a norm, it becomes something you start practicing on, the, on a regular basis now. You make it a schedule and a routine. One of the beautiful statements I also read, is what Al-Allamat ibn Al-Qayyim rahimahullah mentioned from his shaykh in his kitab Madariju Salikin, the second volume. Ibn Al-Qayyim mentions this in his kitab Madariju Salikin, the second volume, page 202. He said, قَالَ لِي شَيْخُ الْإِسْلَامِ ibn Taymiyyata He said, my teacher Ibn Taymiyyah said to me, قَدَّسَ اللَّهُ رُوحَهُ فِي شَيْءٍ مِّنَ الْمُبَاحِ Ibn Taymiyyah spoke to his student and he said to his student Ibn Al-Qayyim regarding a matter that is permissible. He said, هذا ينافي المراتب العالية وإن لم يكن تركه شرطا في النجاة الله أكبر والله brothers and sisters if you learn this قاعدة it will benefit you in the course of your life Ibn Taymiyyah said to his student Ibn Al-Qayyim regarding a issue which is permissible in Islam it's not haram, it's allowed, it's mubah he said to him هذا ينافي المراتب العالية even that though it's permissible it goes against our high levels it goes against high aspiration it goes against that that top stage you can attain. Even if leaving that thing is not a condition for success, but it still prevents you from high levels. Allahu Akbar. That is one thing I want you to understand. Some things might be allowed in the religion, but you are a student of knowledge. It's just not a good thing for you. It's just not a good thing for you. Just leave it. Even if it's allowed, you can prove it's allowed, you have evidences to allow it. Because now you're a talibu ilm, leave it and avoid it. Ibn al-Qayyim said that to his, Ibn Taymiyyah said that to his student, Ibn al-Qayyim. Also, Shaykh al-Islam Ibn Taymiyyah said something similar in his Majmu' al-Fatawa, the 10th volume, page 405. Until, and he also said something similar in page 426. He said, وَأَمَّا اَعْتِزَالُ النَّاسِ فِي فُضُولِ الْمُبَاحَاتِ وَمَا لَا يَنْفَعَ وَذَلِكَ بِالزُّهْدِ فِي فَذَلِكَ مُحْتَسَبٌ Leaving the people, when it comes to فُضُولِ الْمُبَاحَاتِ It's just, it's mubah, it's allowed, it's not haram. Leaving them off, 
and that which doesn't benefit you by staying and avoiding them. He said, فَذَلِكَ مُسْتَحَبُّ This is a recommended matter. Student of knowledge, the minute you start, you have to start getting away from socializing and meeting everybody and being in the circles of everybody. Ibn Taymiyyah also said, وَلَا بُدَّ لِلْعَبْدِ مِنْ أَوْقَاتٍ يَنْفَرِدُ بِهَا بِنَفْسِهِ فِي دُعَائِهِ وَذِكْرِهِ وَصَلَاتِهِ وَتَفَكُّرِهِ وَمُحَاسَبَةِ نَفْسِهِ وَإِصْلَاحِ قَلْبِهِ The student of knowledge requires times that he's alone. Ibn Taymiyyah saying this, وَلَا بُدَّ لِلْعَبْدِ مِنْ أَوْقَاتٍ يَنْفَرِدُ بِهَا بِنَفْسِهِ That he is separate from the people. He's alone. فِي دُعَائِهِ in his du'a. وَذِكْرِهِ in his remembrance. وَصَلَاتِهِ his prayer. وَتَفَكُّرِهِ in his thinking. وَمُحَاسَبَةِ نَفْسِهِ وَإِصْلَاحِ قَلْبِهِ In accounting himself. Like what did I do today? What did I say today? How was I performing today as a Muslim? Was I getting closer to Allah? Or did I do things that distanced me from Allah? I need to perfect myself in these certain things. Yani, that's what the person does. Ibn al-Qayyim also said in his kitab, uh, Bada'i al-Fawa'id, he said, Inna fudul al-mukhalatati hiya da'u al-udhal al-jari bilu kulli sharrin wa kam salabati al-mukhalatatu wa al-mu'asharatu min ni'matin wa kam zara'at min adawatin wa kam gharasat fi qalb fi al-qalbi min khazazatin tazulu al-jibalu al-rasiyat wa kam غرست في القلب من حزازات تسول تزول الجبال الراسيات وهي في القلوب لا تزول فضول المخالطة فيه فيه خسارة الدنيا والآخرة وإنما ينبغي للعبد أن يأخذ من المخالطة بمقدار الحاجة انتهى كلامه رحمه الله this كلام of ابن القيم he says إن فضول المخالطة going overboard in mixing with people it's a cancerous action. It's cancerous, brothers and sisters. Wallahi, listen to this. It's not me, Abdurrahman Hassan, saying this. Mixing with people a lot. Ibn al-Qayyim is saying, it, is, it brings about a lot of evil. It drags a lot of evil to you. وَكَمْ سَلَبَتِ الْمُخَالَطَةُ وَالْمُعَاشَرَةُ مِنْ نِعْمَةٍ How many mixing with people and staying and, and, and socializing with people has uh, blessings being removed? وَكَمْ زَرَعَتْ مِنْ عَدَاوَةٍ How many animosity came from people socializing? That if you just wasn't there that time, this problem wouldn't have happened. How many people, brothers and sisters, that happens to? يعني brothers and sisters, it increases animosity and hate. It increases in your يعني, status and your position going down in the eyes of the people. Always available, always willing to do things. And it's not even good. وَلِذَلِكَ إِبْنُ قُدَامَةَ الْمَقْدِسِيُ رَحِمَهُ اللَّهِ He said in his kitab مُخْتَصَّرْ مِنْ هَاجِ الْقَاصِدِينَ أَنَّ عُمَرَ بْنَ الْخَطَّابِ رَضِيَ اللَّهُ عَنْهُ He said خُذُوا حَظَّكُمْ مِنَ الْعُزْلَةِ Take your portion from al-uzla. Meaning, secluding yourself from the people. Masruq, rahimahullah, he said, إِنَّ الْمَرْأَ الْحَقِيقٌ أَنْ يَكُونَ لَهُ مَجَالِسٌ يَخْلُو فِيهَا فَيَذْكُرَ فِيهَا ذُنُوبَهُ فَيَسْتَغْفِرَ مِنْهَا It is upon a person to have gatherings where يَخْلُو فِيهَا they're alone, secluded from everybody else. Where the person remembers their sins and the shortcomings that they came with and they ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala for forgiveness. So brothers and sisters, the first thing I've come to see that students of knowledge يعني, waste their time is when it comes to socializing and mixing. The second thing that the uh, students of knowledge a lot of the time waste their time with is الاشتغال بأمور مفضولة Busying themselves in things which are less important. Somebody has more important things to do, but they preoccupy their time with things which are less important. For example, you find a person he read for one hour, or he came to a class for one hour. He benefited, okay? He, see, he saw some benefits in himself. What does he do? He spends five hours wasting time now. You've benefited for one hour, but five hours you're gonna waste. This is common a lot amongst a lot of people. You spend more time just 
Alhamdulillah, I did one hour for, for knowledge. Alhamdulillah, that's all that's needed. Why don't you seek knowledge for five hours and relax for one hour? Some of you might say, but don't, doesn't a person not need to relax? Relaxation is needed. But it's needed biqaddarin, not unrestrictedly. A person, for example, they read for one hour Quran, or he memorizes a verse or two verses, or hadith or two hadiths in a day. And then he says, I don't want to make it hard on myself. I memorized one verse, I've memorized two or hadith or two hadiths today. But I don't want to make it heavy of myself, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, relax, inshallah ta'ala. I'm going to take the whole day off. The, it is true that the people are different in their abilities. And of course, everyone needs time to relax, maybe do something, come back, and no doubt. But you're working towards enhancing the number of hours which you spend benefiting yourself and seeking knowledge, right? Not reduce it and put it down. ولذلك ابن الجوزي in his kitab تلبيس إبليس one of the things that he mentions is a person أن يكتفي الإنسان that a person will be happy and sufficient uh, يعني, yeah, happy and enjoy um, in uh, one benefit that they benefit or two benefits and then shaitan enters that person's heart and he says to them he says to them you're upon good uh, your other people like that they, they didn't even benefit that one benefit that you did and then he says, relax now, you take the whole day off. And that the person wastes his time and does that. So this is another thing that students of knowledge tend to, or people tend to fall into. And so it's a matter which we need to avoid. And if you look at the great scholars of Islam, they were different to that. Shaykh Islam Taymi, look what he said. He said, وَقَدْ أَوْعَابَتْ الْأُمَّةُ فِي كُلِّ فَنِّ مِنْ فُنُودِ الْعِلْمِ إِعَابًا فَمَنْ نَوَّرَ اللَّهُ قَلْبَهُ حَدَاهُ بِمَا يَبْلُوهُ مِنْ ذَلِكَ وَمَنْ أَعْمَاهُ لَمْ تَزِدْ كَثْرَةُ الْكُتُبِ إِلَّا حَيْرَةً وَضَلَالًا A lot of people, when it comes to Islamic sciences, the different knowledges that are out there, they haven't been given that nur in their hearts, which Allah Taala guides and gives to whoever He wishes, subhanahu wa ta'ala. So a person, Allah has blinded them, subhanahu wa ta'ala. So all of this knowledge and all of these books all it does to them is confuses them. It's like, what's this about? Nah, this is confusing, man. Ibn Al-Qayyim, Ibn Taymiyyah here is saying, فَمَنْ نَوَّرَ اللَّهُ قَلْبَهُ Anyone who Allah enlightens his heart, هَدَاهُ بِمَا يَبْلُوهُ مِنْ ذَلِكَ Allah guides him to what will take him to that path. وَمَنْ أَعْمَاهُ And the one who Allah blinded him, لَمْ تَزِدْ كَثْرَةُ الْكُتُبِ إِلَّا حَيْرَةً وَضَلَالًا The large number of books they have, it will only cause them confusion and misguidance. ولذلك الذهبي هي سيد رحمه الله إن الترجمة of عثمان بن سعيد الدارمي هي سيد إن العلم ليس هو بكثرة الرواية knowledge is not what you, the more you memorize ولكنه نور يقذفه الله في القلب it is light Allah places in the person's heart وشرطه للتباع and the condition for it is to follow والفرار من الهوى والابتداع and to run away from desires and innovation why did I mention these two statements what was the reason I mentioned it the reason is because if one of us looks at these books and يعني, gets a book and looks at it and ponders on it, you will realize that the proof of Allah Taala is, is established on us. That these large books that we brought, these lessons we listen to, these lectures that we listen to, the proof of Allah has really been established on us. And if we don't organize our time to benefit from these books, or we don't organize our time to benefit from these lessons, this is going to become from the things that are going to work against us today. We meet Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Because the benefit is there. Al Imam Muhammad ibn Abi Hatim, he said, um, Ibn Abi Hatim, Abdul Rahman ibn Abi Hatim, he said, Sami'tu al Muzaniya yaqul. Sami'tu al Muzaniya yaqul. I heard Al Imam Ismail ibn Yahya al Muzani saying, Qila li shafi'i, it was said to Al Imam al Shafi'i, Kayfa shahwatuka lil ilm. How is your desires when it comes to knowledge? How are you when it comes to knowledge? And Imam al-Shafi'i said, this is how it should be to us, brothers and sisters. That we, when we read and we're benefiting, we don't want to go anywhere else. We're literally enjoying it. It's bringing joy. Look what Shafi'i said. He said, Asma'u bil harf, I hear a word. Mimma lam asma'u, which I've never heard before. And guess what it does? It penetrates my limbs and my body parts. It's like my body parts, my, my arms and my, they're like ears, they, they themselves are hearing it. They find blessing in the same thing that my ears are finding blessing is in. 
and my heart is, I'm literally enjoying every moment of it. This shows you that this was everything for them. The third, inshallah ta'ala, thing I realized that students of knowledge waste their time with is tapes and cassettes, brothers and sisters. Now we're in a time when you don't need cassettes anymore, but it's listening to recordings. Wallahi, these recordings are a blessings from the blessings of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Knowledge, wallahi, if you wanted it before, you had to go to certain parts of the world, and knowledge today is available. Inna al-ilma yu'ta wa la yati was what the Salaf used to say. That doesn't apply anymore. Knowledge is now knocking on your door. That statement is that knowledge, you need to go to it if you want it to land, not for it, it won't come to you. Now knowledge is knocking on our doors. I can be in a dars of a certain scholar in Medina live stream and benefit from it. I'm benefiting from it. I'm on the other side of the world. And I listen to it. Brothers and sisters should understand the benefit of these online programs and the blessings that they have brought. A person is able to benefit from it. And wallahi, this is min babi tahadduthi bin ni'mah. I'm just saying this from the angle of the blessing of Allah, tabarak wa ta'ala mentioned what Allah gave me. Wallahi laqad intafa'atu wa stafattu khayran. I benefited many good from these recordings of these great imams. Shaykh al-Albani rahimahullah, how he responds, how he takes on mas'a'il, how he listens to questions. Shaykh ibn Uthaymeen answering questions and how he responds to it. I benefited a lot from it, brothers and sisters. The poet he said, this is the poet is Amir al-San'ani rahimahullah in his manduma fil hajj. He says, فَمَن لَمْ يُجَرِّبْ لَيْسَ يَعْرِفُ قَدَرَهُ فَجَرِّبْ تَجِّدْ تَصْدِيقَ مَا قَدْ ذَكَرْنَاهُ Anyone who hasn't tested what I'm saying, he won't know the, the weight of what I'm talking about. فَجَرِّبْ تَجِدْ تَصْدِيقَ مَا قَدْ ذَكَرْنَاهُ Test it. Put it to the test. You will see the truth to what I'm telling you. Students of knowledge are driving. They're not benefiting from their, the recordings of the ulama, Sheikh ibn Uthaymeen and Sheikh ibn Baz and the great scholars of Islam. The fourth, inshallah ta'ala, time I think I feel like students of knowledge waste, they don't benefit from, is al-adhan wal-iqamah. The adhan and the iqamah for salahs, there are many benefits you can take from it. A person can designate time between the adhan and the iqamah. I always, said, I always tell this to brothers. I know a brother who every single day for a few years, he designated the adhan and the iqama for every prayer to memorize a small portion of Riyadh al-Salihin until he finished it. He memorized it and finished it. Yani, it actually was not for every salah to be honest. It was only salah al-asr. Salah al-asri, he was the local imam of his masjid. So he would lead the people the salah. And as you know, in the Arab world, uh, after Salat al-Asr, the person, the, people, the, the imam, he does little reminders for the people. He does a little reminder, uh, a little khair for the people, right? So, uh, this brother, he would memorize the hadith or two which he would need for that reminder until he completed the memorization of Kitab Riyadh al-Sadihin between Adhan and Iqama. He would memorize it, he would make sure he, and he would teach that book. So this is brothers and sisters, something we can, we can benefit from and benefit from that. Number five is Al-Qira'atul Hurrah. A lot of students don't have this when it comes to free reading. I meet many brothers and over the course of my life, I've met many students of knowledge. They have not got the desire to read books. Yani Qira'a Hurrah. So the brother, he only sticks to the barnamij, he only sticks to the program that of his shaykh. He studies only, and he's graduated some of them. Some They do not have al-qira'atul hurrah, free reading, where they go through the athar of al-mu'allimi and the athar of Ibn Taymiyyah and the athar of Ibn al-Qayyim and the athar of Muhammad ibn Ibrahim, Ibn al-Wazir al-Yamani, and all of those great scholars of al-Islam. Al-Shatibi and Yani Zarkashi and uh, Ibn al-Mulaqin and Ibn Kathir and no, and Nawawi and others. No, the student of knowledge doesn't even have that desire to do al qiraatul hurrah Brothers and sisters, this is something you will need. If you don't read, your knowledge will decrease. That is what I wanted, inshallah ta'ala, to say in this barna, uh, this uh, manhaj, this uh, uh, methodology, 
for Al Madrasatul Umariya in order to study in it. This, inshallah ta'ala, is the final and last episode for this series. Any mistakes or shortcomings I have come with, it's from me and Shaytan and Allah and His Messenger are both free from it. Subhanakallahumma bihamdi. Ashhadu an la ilaha illallah. Astaghfiruka wa atubu ilayhi.